Thyrotoxicosis is medical condition in which inappropriately high thyroid hormone is in the blood and symptoms which are caused by this hormone. The cause of this condition can be different. While, the term hypothyroidism describes same condition, but the cause is defined and its thyroid gland. Signs and symptoms of thyrotoxicosis include Weight loss despite increased appetite Heat-related symptoms, heat intolerance, sweating, and polydipsia. Neuromuscular symptoms, tremor, nervousness, anxiety, fatigue. Weakness, disturbed sleep, poor concentration tremor of the extremities, hyperactivity, hyperreflexia, pelvic and girdle muscle weakness. Cardiovascular, palpitations, tachycardia, systolic hypertension, irregular heartbeat, atrial. Fibrillation. Pulmonary, dyspnea, shortness of breath, tachypnea. Gastrointestinal, hyperdefecation, nausea, vomiting and abdominal tenderness. Skin, increased perspiration, warm and moist skin. Menstrual disturbances and irregularities. Ocular, Graves disease, diplopia, sense of irritation in the eyes. Eyelid swelling, retroorbital pain or discomfort. A patient with hyperthyroidism classically presents with signs and symptoms that reflect this state of increased metabolic activity. The prevalence of hyperthyroidism in the general population is around 1%. It means it is not rare disease. Graves' disease is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism. As Graves' disease is autoimmune in etiology, this form of hyperthyroidism tends to manifest itself in younger populations. In the older demographic, Toxic multinodular goiter is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism. Thyrotoxicosis can also be caused by medication. Excessive use of pharmaceutical thyroid hormone. Such thyrotoxicosis is called factitious thyroiditis. Due to a well-received side effect of weight loss, thyroxine has the potential for abuse, and any history of a hyperthyroid patient should include a medication list and an assessment of possible misuse whether intentional or unintentional. Other conditions can also cause thyrotoxicosis but they are much rare. For example, thyroid adenomas, de Quervain thyroiditis, subacute thyroiditis, postpartum thyroiditis, and ectopic foci of thyroxine-secreting tissue. The mechanism of thyreotoxicosis is different and depend on the underlying causes, for example, in the case of Graves' disease, the underlying cause is autoimmune, particularly the production of thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulins that bind to the TSH receptor and mimic the effects of TSH. Weakness, disturbed sleep, poor concentration. Physical examination of the thyroid may or may not reveal an enlarged thyroid, referred to as goiter. The thyroid may be diffusely enlarged, or one or more nodules may be palpated. The thyroid may be painless to palpation or extremely tender to even light palpation. Diagnosis Thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, is the initial diagnostic test of choice and is considered the best screening test for assessing the pathology of the thyroid and for the monitoring of thyroid replacement therapy. Abnormal TSH is often followed up with a measurement of free T4 and or free T3. Treatment of hyperthyroidism depends on the underlying etiology and can be divided into two categories, symptomatic therapy and definitive therapy. The symptoms of hyperthyroidism, such as palpitations, anxiety, and tremor, can be controlled with a beta-adrenergic antagonist such as atenolol. Calcium channel blockers, such as verapamil, can be used as second-line therapy for patients who are beta-blocker intolerant or have contraindications to beta-blocker therapy.